If you're new or a beginner at editing video in Adobe Premiere Pro, then chances are the way you cut and trim your videos is as follows. You head over to the razor tool, you hit the razor tool, you then come to your clip, you make the cuts that you need to make, hit the arrow tool, come back, click the clip, hit delete, right click, ripple delete, and then that edit is made. And then rinse and repeat a thousand times for every video that you then edit. But what if I told you that there's a faster way that you can cut and trim video in Adobe Premiere Pro so that you can triple X your speed on your video edits. I'm gonna show you that right now, so let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukori with Think Media. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna know is number one, that Premiere Pro has the ability to do custom keyboard shortcuts. This is gonna allow you to not have to click around and access certain tools. Maybe you know about the shortcuts, currently like C being the razor tool, which is awesome. And then V being the arrow tools. And so you don't have to click back and forth like I showed you earlier in this video. However, you can actually use this cursor to make your cuts. And the way you're gonna access that is by first going to keyboard shortcuts, click on the Premiere Pro at the top, and then we're gonna hit keyboard shortcuts. Now, you wanna add a shortcut to the letter X. And I personally like it because X is like kind of cut, you know what I'm saying? And you can do it however you wish. But the first shortcut you're gonna wanna add is to add edit to all tracks. And so go in the search bar, type in edit to all tracks, and then you're gonna drag that to X. And then you're also, I personally like to drag that to W. So I have it in two different places and I'm gonna show you why in just a moment. The next thing that I want you to add is what is called ripple trim to the letter Q. And so we're gonna search the search bar, type in ripple trim, and then you're gonna click and drag that to the letter Q. Now this is all gonna make sense in just a moment. So you're just gonna hit okay right there. And so now all I have to do is hit the letter X and it'll make the cut that I need rather than having to get the razor tool, click and then cut and all that stuff. So I'm gonna find a good take, which I believe this is toward the end of my video. So I'm going to hit uh, X right here because I believe this is where it's a good take. Let's double with check. With any questions you may have, with any questions you may have. With any questions you may have. Then let me know down. All right, and then I'm gonna go to the end of the clip and then hit the letter X too. And then hit V. We're gonna select and hit delete. And so I need to find the part where this any goes. questions you may have. With any questions you may have. And so now we're gonna use that shortcut that we put on the letter Q to bring that edit to the point where it belongs. So let's find the moment where I mess up. Would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below what you think as well as any questions. As well as any questions. So I'm gonna to go to as. Thoughts down in the comments below what you think. As so I'm hitting the space bar and I'm gonna stop in front of as well. As well as. All right, so and I'm plussing and minusing on my keyboard just so I can zoom in and out. So here you can see my playhead is right here. Watch this. We're gonna hit the letter Q and then it just cut out all mistakes up until the good take, right? And so let's play this back right, real quick. Comments below what you think with any questions you may have or- Boom, so that was so simple. It only took two moves essentially. And one way you can actually hide a transition like this is by zooming in on the jump cut. So we're gonna click on this clip I'm just gonna zoom it in a tad, go to scale on the top right, zoom it in maybe to, let's go 112, bring my head down a little bit right here, and now it'll look a lot more seamless. Comments below what you think with any questions you may have, or if you wanna see an updated. And so when you're cutting up a roll, kind of like what you see right here, having these two shortcuts to trim and splice your video will speed up your workflow incredibly. And one tip that I love to share with people is to edit your A roll backwards because usually the last take is the best take, right? And so if you are an editor or you're new to editing video and you're editing your own video especially, you know that when you had a good take when it happened. So make that cut with X, find the moment where it's supposed to go and just hit the letter Q and then boom, rinse and repeat that process and I know it's gonna speed up your workflow incredibly. And so with that being said, I hope you got value in this video. And if you did, hit that like button. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna scoot over this way. So if you wanna check out another editing tutorial, you can do so by clicking or tapping the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.